Hello guys. This is Liz. I'm going to plant my brassica seedlings today. The brassica plants are cold tolerant, preferring growing in cool conditions. Tips in growing broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. Number one. First thing to consider in planting the brassica vegetables is the timing. The minimum temperature for germination and growth is 40 degrees Fahrenheit and the optimum range is 50 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes 5 to 8 weeks for seedlings to reach the transplant size and you allow two to three months to reach maturity and harvest time. I started planting my seeds inside under the grow light last January 28. These are my seedlings. They were hardened off for two weeks. I took them outside for an hour or two on the first day, then increased the outdoor time little by little making sure the soil is moist at all times. I have here two varieties of the broccoli, Calabrese and Desico. For the sprouts, Catskill, Cabbage, Sapporo, and Fairies Round Dutch. And for the cauliflower, Snowball X and Purple of Sesame. Today is 1st of March. We're in the late winter season. So I have enough time for these plants to grow and reach maturity. June is a quite hot month here in Zone 7B. For fall and winter harvest, start planting 60 days before the first frost to ensure the plants are strong enough to endure the cold weather. Check your planting guide for your specific gardening zone. Number two, these plants like well-drained and nutrient-rich soil. They love nitrogen in the early cycle of life and phosphorus and potassium when they start to form the unopened flowers or heads. I have amended already my soil with compost and manure. These are the fertilizers I'm going to use. Just follow the instructions how to use the fertilizers. They do not like acidic soil. The desirable soil pH is 6.5 or above. Look at the roots. So I'm gonna bury this up to here. Because look at that. If I'm gonna plant it up to here only, They'll be swayed by the wind. They need to stand firm. This is the all-purpose fertilizer. I'm just going to use half a tablespoon. Press it around but not so much. Number three, use a complete fertilizer 
with higher nitrogen firm the soil to avoid being rocked by the wind feed them with a liquid fertilizer like the miracle grow for the necessary trace elements like boron or magnesium this is a swiss chart the only survivor this one will be gone by next month these plants are garlic number four plant far enough apart like 12 to 18 inches from each other number five give water at least an inch weekly more frequently in hot weather number six use row cover to protect the plants from cabbage moth and worms this is a tool i got this from walmart and it was 50 cents per number yard. six when the cauliflower head is formed you need to protect it from the sunlight to prevent it from yellowing so say this is the cauliflower in the middle you collect the leaves and use a rubber band to tie them up to cover the head it is also to protect the head from insects if you don't want to use the row cover you can use bacillus thuringiensis it's difficult to pronounce it's bt in short it is used in killing the larvae of the moths this is fleece fabric i use this to cover the plants to protect them from freezing when the weather is very cold and my final tip is harvest brussels sprouts when the tiny heads are firm green and about one to two inches in diameter just remove the sprouts from the bottom going up the sprouts at the bottom are supposedly bigger than the upper portion but this one the bottom ones are smaller than the one at the middle they say to remove the leaves by cutting the stem so that the plant can concentrate on forming the tiny heads why is it that this sprout is large loose and leafy is it because brussels sprouts need temperature of 75 degrees or below to produce compact sprouts but we are still in the winter season what i remembered was that i used a fertilizer high in nitrogen than the potassium and phosphorus where i'm supposed to stop using nitrogen fertilizer harvest the cauliflowers when the heads are firm and dense do not wait for the flowerets to open to have a tasty broccoli harvest them when the 
crown is compact, dense, with dark green color and no yellowing. So you make a slant cut using a knife to prevent water retention. And the second harvest will be the small broccoli growing between the leaf and the stem like this drawing here if you planted your cabbage in spring and want to have a second harvest in autumn make your first harvest by cutting under the head leaving most of the leaves and roots two to four more new heads could grow on the decapitated plant but they will be smaller heads you can ferment or freeze these vegetables for longer storage kindly help grow my channel please subscribe like and share my video have a wonderful day